clinically, if a tumour is progressing, then obviously the immune system is not doing a very effective job in combating the disease. The types of molecules produced by the tumour can actually be suppressive for immunity. So in order to get immunity to be effective, it's very, very important not only to harness the power of the immune system and potentiate that by the use of vaccines, but also to suppress or decrease the ability of the tumour cell to cause an adverse effect on the immune system. We know this happens and we have ways now of dealing with it and it's true to say that recently there have been very many publications showing that if you decrease the tumour's ability to suppress immunity then it releases the power of the immune system and that immunity can get rid of the tumour or at least fight it and decrease its uh, proliferation and progression. So one of the hottest topics in cancer research at the moment is the, dis the discovery uh, of cancer stem cells. Um, as the name implies, um, the cancer stem cell is stem cell-like. It originates very early on in tumour development and it is probably going to be the cell that's most difficult to treat. It's believed that this particular cell has the ability to self-renew, make copies of itself. It's present in the tumour in very small numbers which makes it very difficult to detect. And it's capable of giving rise to a lot of daughter cells that actually form the tumour mass. There is a very real chance that by combating or destroying the cancer stem cell component of a tumour, you would actually uh, destroy the very essence of tumour and the tumour would not develop any further without the presence of cancer stem cells. Um, it's a very important area. We would dearly love to have vaccination strategies, therapy strategies that target that cell type. Uh, but I think that day will come. So some of the biggest successes that's happened um, in, in this area of cancer research involve firstly the use of antibodies, monoclonal antibodies, that have been used in the therapy of, of, of disease started actually um, some time ago back in Nottingham by Robert Baldwin um, who undertook pioneering um, clinical trials with monoclonal antibodies to treat cancer. That has developed to the point now where there are therapies in place that treat very specifically certain types of cancer. For example, certain types of breast cancer. So that's been a huge step forward the use of antibody therapy to combat disease. Secondly, our knowledge of how to formulate, how to produce a vaccine against cancer allows us to actually impose that type of approach to stimulate the immune system in patients who already have cancer to activate those components of the immune system which will then go back and they'll fight the tumour. So this vaccine-based immunotherapy is actually um, a very exciting field at the moment. Um, there are lots of clinical trials. Um, there are vaccines that have been licensed for therapeutic use in prostate cancer and probably very soon in breast cancer as well. So these are really exciting developments in the field. And um, I believe that in the next decade, uh, we will see the introduction of more immunotherapeutic means of combating uh, cancer in the clinic.